Hey, Lloyd Boston here. I'm spending one full year on the inside of a cool brand, and I'm taking you with me. Now, you know me as a fashion insider, so I'm going to show you how a brand is really built from behind the scenes. I'm going to track a cool clothing label called Moods of Norway, every step from the runway to real life. All right, you with me? Who's with me? Click follow. Let's go. Project Menswear Show, which is a big trade show that happens in Las Vegas, showcasing uh, some of the biggest and the brightest names in menswear. Uh, I come here as a fashion editor to see what's happening each season. Uh, so we're going to be looking at fall clothes. Uh, I learned that Moods in Norway is going to have a booth here, so I want to check out and see what they're doing, what the competition is like, and how they present themselves uh, amongst this market of mostly American designers. So I'm going to take a look at most of the menswear today from an editor's standpoint and see how Moods fits in uh, to this landscape. Let's go. I'm actually following one brand called Moods of Norway. Are you familiar with the brand? I am not. You're not? Okay. What do you think of when you hear the name Moods of Norway? What comes to mind? Um, the fact that I feel bad that I should know that you're asking me about it and I should probably know about it maybe? I don't know. I think Moods of Norway, they have sort of a more you know, ironic twist to fashion, uh, which I think is fun. You know? And uh, I think that stands as important a little bit. We're kind of the, the, sort of the grandfather of, you know, Swedish fashion, in a sense, you know, with our suiting. And, and they're the rebellious grandson. They are, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. They always had really good sporty looking, you know, outerwear, uh, a little funky, but I always loved it and I always wore it. So I dig it. I think it's really good stuff. It takes a sharp eye, right? It takes to a get sharp it. eye to get it, and it takes a confident man to wear it. it feels like it should be, you know, outerwear. It should be, you know, um, something that keep you warm, maybe. Moves of Norway. I don't know. So you've heard of Moods of Norway, yes. and uh, when it comes down to their challenges here in the States, do you think men are going to get into it, or it's going to be a slow a slow curve? Um, I think the men that gets it is definitely going to go deep in it. But, you know, like, I mean, there is always a transition, but with all those nice cities that we have here, LA, New York, even like Austin, you know, guys are getting into it. Oh, you're wearing a Moods pin right there. There you go. There you go. And what, what, what turns you want about the brand the most? Exciting prints. The prints? Yeah, it's really nice. Yes. But it's, very, very cla diverse. it's got a classic tailored feel to it, too. Tell me, what makes the moods, guys, and the clothes so unique, like for the U.S. market? Um, I think it's the mix between coming from this super outdoorsy kind of um, really classic Scandinavian environment, which you can see in their ads too. Like they have the big Norwegian landscapes in the background, and then these crazy pink suits in the front. I think that's what makes them special, like the contrast between those things. You guys have been around since the '60s. How do you think they're going to do? I'm following them for a year. For a year. What what do you, what do you uh, what do you bet on them since we're in Vegas? With their energy, I would say they'll go far for sure. So the moods booth seems to be pretty busy from what I see. I'm seeing a lot of buyers here. I'm seeing a lot of uh, regional buyers from different stores in different cities. I'm also seeing some international buyers as well. Hey, you can follow my journey on yearinabrand.com.